Mike Florio. My, Mike Florio. Supposedly, Mike Florio is a journalist. He started the website Pro Football Talk 20 years ago, back in 2001, eventually partnered up with NBC. And Mike Florio has been considered an NFL insider ever since. The words journalist and NFL insider are not words that I would use to describe Mike Florio. I would choose liar and professional agitator. Pro Football Talk is the equivalent of the National Enquirer. It is shit, garbage, trash. You would be better off getting your NFL news from a blogger living in Uganda than believing anything reported by Mike Florio and Pro Football Talk. There seems to be some confusion in the media as to what constitutes journalism. A journalist reports the news factually with no bias. A journalist doesn't offer his opinion. He reports both sides of a story and allows the reader to decide what to believe. That is called journalism. Mike Florio is a fiction writer. I could spend an hour reading down the list of how many stories Mike Florio has just made up out of thin air. Like the time back in 2009 when Randy Moss is bawling out in New England with the Patriots. Mike Florio claims in the middle of the season that he was going to be traded to the Vikings. Or the time back in 2007 when Pro Football Talk reported that Terry Bradshaw had died in a car accident. Or the time that he claimed Keyshawn Johnson referred to Joe Flacco as a bum. Now that story right there, I could actually believe it. Joe Flacco is a bum. The problem is Keyshawn Johnson never said that. The list of inaccuracies and made-up stories from Mike Florio is a mile long. If Mike Florio actually gets something right, it's the exception to the rule. Not only is he an embarrassment when it comes to journalism, he's also an avid social justice warrior. Mike Florio had to issue an apology last summer over hateful things he said about the LGBT community 15 years ago. He's a hardcore fan of the Minnesota Vikings. Naturally, he's a hater of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Now, being a fan, that's fine. That's fine. But when you're a journalist, it's your job to be objective. The beef between Aaron Rodgers and Mike Florio has been going on for years, but it's reached a climax over the last couple of weeks, at least from the perspective of Mike Florio. He was just so offended that Aaron Rodgers lied about his COVID vaccine status. This man is dangerous. He endangered the lives of thousands of people. Mike Florio even speculated that because of all the negative media attention Aaron Rodgers has received lately, that he is contemplating retirement. Are we talking about the same Aaron Rodgers? This dude doesn't give a shit what the woke media thinks about him. Aaron Rodgers relishes in the backlash and the controversy. He enjoys pissing off the media. He damn sure isn't worried about the opinion of Mike Florio, who I'm starting to question his sanity. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but here on the channel, I try not to double up on one story in the same week. I don't like drilling things into the ground. We talk about it once, move on to the next one. Now, there are exceptions, of course. If a major story breaks, we do a video, and then something else major happens in the next day or two, we may get to it again. But for the most part, I try not to repeat myself. I try not to beat you over the head with the same thing. Mike Florio does not share that mentality. The Packers announced 12 days ago that Aaron Rodgers had caught the COVID. In that time span, 12 days, Mike Florio has tweeted about the vaccine status of Aaron Rodgers 78 times. 78 times in 12 days. What is that? Six and a half times a day? When I saw this story on OutKick a second ago, the first thought that came to my mind was why the hell is a grown man this obsessed with another dude? If your girlfriend texted you 78 times in 12 days and you didn't respond, she would be considered a stalker. Of course, Mike Florio, he tried to justify his questionable behavior by saying that he was reporting the news. Nah, bro. You were trying to make Aaron Rodgers look bad. You were trying to denigrate his reputation. The problem is, no one gives a shit about Mike Florio or his dumbass opinion. You see... 
Aaron Rodgers is a nightmare for guys like Mike Florio in the woke media. Why? Because Aaron Rodgers is untouchable. His legacy is cemented. His career speaks for itself. Nothing Mike Florio reports or flat out makes up is going to impact the reputation of Aaron Rodgers. I saw some footage of Lambeau Field yesterday pregame. When Aaron Rodgers made his return, took the field before the game, the crowd erupted. They didn't erupt into a chorus of boos, it was cheers. 70,000 people at Lambeau Field, they didn't give a shit about the vaccination status of Aaron Rodgers. All they cared about is him being back on the field. But Mike Florio, this Kobe situation with Aaron Rodgers keeps him up at night. Naturally, you would think Mike Florio was concerned about the health status of Aaron Rodgers. After all, the Kobe is just so dangerous. It's ruined the careers of so many professional athletes. Has there been one player in the NBA or the NFL that has had a negative experience with the Kobe? These guys are some of the healthiest people in the world. Most of them get the Kobe, have zero symptoms. Same with me. When I had the Kobe back in February, the only symptom I had was exhaustion. It made me lethargic. Other than that, I felt fine. Out of those 78 tweets from Mike Florio about this dangerous virus, not one time did he ask or mention the health of Aaron Rodgers. Why? Because Mike Florio knows that Kobe is going to have minimal impact on Aaron Rodgers. Gil Brandt called out Mike Florio for his stupidity. He was the one who actually counted how many times Mike Florio had tweeted about it. Gil Brandt has that kind of time. Dude's 89 years old. He responded to one of Mike Florio's tweets with two simple numbers. Seven and eight. Mike Florio, being the beta male that he is, got into his feelings, got mad that a former NFL executive and an NFL Hall of Famer had the audacity to call him on his bullshit. So, he blocked Gil Brandt on Twitter. That is the go-to move of social justice warriors. Anytime they get called out, they press the block button. God forbid they actually explain or try to justify your journalistic approach. No, 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 no. Let's just block Gil Brandt and hope he goes away. Mike Florio is not the only member of the woke media who's been going after Aaron Rodgers relentlessly. Deadspin. The favorite rag for people who have run out of toilet paper, Deadspin has been all over Aaron Rodgers as well. Sam Fells, another so-called journalist, we've talked about this dude before, he uploaded an article this morning claiming Aaron Rodgers is returning to his cocoon. He still doesn't know what he did wrong. Hmm. When did Sam Fells become the authority of what's right and wrong? Curiosity. I did some research on this dude. He has a total of 21 followers on Deadspin. His profile picture features him with something in his mouth. It's either a cigarette or the thumb he just pulled out of his ass. Sam Fells wants Aaron Rodgers to pay for his sins. The NFL didn't punish him. Packers fans have welcomed him back with open arms. This is just wrong. Here's my question. What would you punish him for? Are you going to punish Aaron Rodgers because the media didn't ask a follow-up question? Like I told you guys when this story broke, when Aaron Rodgers said that he was immunized, all the media had to do was ask, does that mean you're vaccinated? It was that simple. But the media is full of lazy bums, so they didn't ask. Now, they're trying to put all the blame on Aaron Rodgers because they didn't do their job. Sam Fells claims the media backlash against Aaron Rodgers is people wanting to get past this pandemic. Well, that's a damn lie. Us normal people want to get past the pandemic. Matter of fact, those of us who are normal have been past the Kobe for over a year now. It's the woke media and the politicians who don't want to get past the Kobe. They want to keep this thing alive. It's not us normal people concerned about someone else's vaccine status. How many times have you asked someone if they've been vaccinated? Me personally, I've asked zero times. I don't care. I saw a video last week. It was a flight from somewhere over in Europe. There's this woman on the plane. They haven't taken off yet. And she is railing on the poor dude sitting next to her because he wasn't vaccinated. 
She had asked him for his vaccine card, and he either didn't have one or just didn't want to show her and told her to go to hell. Either way, she told the flight attendant to give her another seat. Problem was, flight was sold out. This poor flight attendant, she had way more patience than I would have had. She's trying to reason with this woman, but the lady just keeps screaming, yelling, claiming this dude is threatening her life. Long story short, the captain ends up getting involved, kicks her ass off the plane. The rest of the people on the flight gave him a standing ovation. I bring this up because it's a good representation of how people think. There were probably 200, maybe 300 people on that flight. One, one had a problem with the Kobe. Same here in America. The media would lead you to believe that most of the country wants social justice, when the reality is only a handful do. They just have the loudest voice because the rest of us are busy living while they're hiding in Howard Stern's basement. Socially distanced, of course. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of Mike Florio. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.